Speaker, in response to yesterday's vote where members of Parliament representing a clear majority of Canadian voters demanded that he step down, phony rapporteur David Johnson said he isn't going anywhere. In fact, he said... It's technically a true statement. There's some words that kind of meaning it, just not really parliamentary. It's a made-up position. It's not slander. Okay. It's a made-up position for one time. From the top with nice language, please. Mr. Speaker, in response to yesterday's vote where MPs representing a clear majority of Canadians voted for him to step aside, Rapporteur David Johnson said he isn't going anywhere. Don't in submit, fact, he here. He doesn't work for Parliament or Canadians. He said he works for the government. That's the problem, Mr. Speaker. He works for the same Liberal government that benefited from Beijing's election interference. And he personally serves the Prime Minister who chose to do nothing while Chinese Canadians were bullied into voting for his Liberal Party. Right. Nobody is fooled by this sham of a process. So when will the Prime Minister fire his ski buddy and call a public inquiry? Right. Yes. Member I agree with that. For emergency preparedness. I'm reminded once again that it's not only unfair but deeply offensive to, 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 to listen to the member opposite question Mr. Johnson's allegiance to this country. His 50-year career in public service has made it crystal clear to everyone that his loyalty is to Canada. And Mr. Speaker, as I also said, and as I quote former Prime Minister Harper, Mr. Johnson represents hard work, dedication, public service and humility. Mr. Speaker, Canada is blessed to have a man so dedicated to public service, persevering through this type of abuse. Member for Regina Capel. Canada is cursed by a Prime Minister who tarnished that man's yeah. reputation. Yeah. And, and the scandal. Good job, good job. The minister can't be the one to decide how to investigate this scandal because he benefited from it. And David Johnson can't decide either because he's a family friend and a longtime member of the Trudeau Foundation. Yeah. And Frank Iacobucci can't be the one to sign off on David Johnson's role because he's part of the Trudeau Foundation as well. Conflict of interest, conflict of interest, conflict of interest. Yeah. Why is it that whenever the best interests of Canadians conflict with the political interests of the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister always chooses himself. Wow. Holy crap, Andrew Shear. Minister for uh, Emergency Preparedness. Mr. Speaker, protecting Canada from the nefarious, hostile activities of foreign state actors is a priority for our government. We've taken very significant action to protect the Canadian, of Canadian institutions, and in particular, our democracy. We recognize that there is more work... Can we interrupt for a second? Hey, everybody in the live chat, I want to encourage you to give a like Please, if you quiet. haven't already. Please. Quiet! Oh! Okay, you heard me this time. What I'm going to ask is everyone to respect each other so that one side doesn't see the other one screaming or the other side doesn't see the other side is screaming. It does go both ways, and that's the way we're going to enforce it. I'm sorry for screaming. The Honourable Minister, from the top, please, and hopefully we have some peace and quiet. I got goosebumps. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, protecting Canada... He's going to walk out today. <laughs> ...foreign state actors like China is a priority for our government. We have taken significant action to protect the integrity of Canadian institutions, and in particular our democracy. We recognize that there is more work to do, and we all have a responsibility to stand up and protect our democracy. I would invite all members to cease their attacks on some of the finest Canadians I know and to unite in this important work. Quiet! It's my impersonation, sorry. I had to. The Honourable Member for St. Albert, Edmonton. Speaker, yesterday after this House voted non-confidence in the so-called special rapporteur, the rapporteur mm. issued a statement in which he stated that he doesn't answer to this House. Instead, he answers to the Prime Minister. So now that the Prime Minister's so-called rapporteur has finally admitted that he's not independent, will he end the charade fire him, and call an independent public yeah. inquiry. Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Emergency Preparedness. Mr. Speaker, as I've already explained, Mr. Johnson's 50-year career in public service, culminating in, in his, his role as the Governor General of this country, has made it crystal clear to all Canadians that his loyalty 
is to carry. Well, I think everyone asked me to stop people from heckling and st- shouting in front of it. And I'm still hearing voices coming. I'll do it from each side. So you don't want me interrupting you over and over again. And we might have to change the way we do things in here as far as the list goes. So I'm going to ask. Whoa. To start again. I expect quiet. The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And as I've already made clear, Mr. Johnson's 50-year career of public service, culminating in his role as the Governor General of Canada, has made it crystal clear to all Canadians, and certainly to this House, that his loyalty is to this country, to this nation, to Canada. Mr. Speaker, his ideals of hard work and dedication, and his commitment to persevere through some of the, frankly, offensive criticism that's being put his way, I think it's something for which all Canadians should be grateful. We are very fortunate to have a man of his experience and, and values to lead this work on behalf of the nation. The Honourable Member for St. Albert, Edmonton. Mr. Speaker, his loyalty should be to the people of Canada and be elected members of this place and not to the Prime Minister. Yes, 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 a hundred times yes. And Canadians have no confidence in the so-called special rapporteur because in, he's in a conflict. He's a lifelong friend of the Prime Minister. He's a former member of the Beijing-financed Trudeau Foundation. And yesterday he admitted he doesn't work for Canadians. He works for the Prime Minister. Why won't the Prime Minister acknowledge this blatant conflict of interest and fire his fake rapporteur? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. They don't like him calling a... Speaker, a the thing fake in this place is the conservative fake. outrage. All Canadians yep. expect opposition parties to work hard to criticize government. But what Canadians also expect is that they do so with information and that they are informed right. by the Conservatives refusing to receive the confidential information that was the basis of the Right Honourable David Johnson's like report. Canadian? They... What they do, Mr. Speaker, is they live under a veil of ignorance, but Canadians expect on issues of national security that there are reasonable, responsible members in this House serving their... <laughs> the interference that I'm still hearing, I'm going to try a different thing. Maybe the end of the list is less noisy. Oh, my God, he's Back doing it. Fort York. Speaker, today marks 1,241 days since the IRGC murdered... 55 Canadian citizens and 30 permanent residents among 176 people killed when flight PS752 was shot down. One of them was my friend. Last year on the thousandth day, Iranian Canadians came to Ottawa to get justice for those innocent victims and get action on Iranian operatives who threaten and intimidate Iranian Canadians on our own soil. They also wanted their government to finally designate the IRGC as terrorists. Mr. Speaker, all they got were useless platitudes. On June 11th, they return to Parliament Hill. Will they again receive... M- the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Mr. Speaker, the Iranian regime bears full responsibility for the tragic downing of Flight PS752. We are focused on the next steps and we will continue to pursue all available means for holding the Iranian regime accountable. Action is underway under the Montreal Convention seeking binding arbitration. If an arbitral tribunal cannot be organized within six months, we will then be able to move on to litigation before the International Court of Justice. Mr. Speaker, we will not rest until the families get the justice, transparency, and accountability from Iran that they so truly deserve. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thanks for watching the video to the very end. If you'd like to subscribe, I've made it very easy. You can do so by clicking right there. If you'd like to watch another House of Commons highlight clip, you can do so by clicking right there. And if you'd like to subscribe to my main channel, Mr. Sunshine Baby, where it's all Canadian political news, then you can do so by t- tapping up there. Um, subscribing is absolutely free. There's a button down below that says subscribe. If you'd like to join and become a member and financially contribute, you could do so as well. Thank you so much for watching this video.